Well, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good whatever you are. Uh, welcome to another show of Carry Out Conversations. I'm John. I'm Dave. And I'm Noah. And it's so good to have you guys here with us. Um, you know, guys, it is that time once again. That time where we get to sit around the uh, the fireplace with family, have a nice glass of eggnog or whatever you want. You know, I don't like eggnog, but, you know, whatever you like to drink, have a nice glass of eggnog. And sit down to our very favorite Christmas movie, Die Hard. Okay, so I, I have an opinion on this real quick before we continue. When don't you? No, yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, Die Hard is not the best Christmas movie. See, okay. Lethal Weapon is. Lethal Weapon's not a Christmas movie. Why is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Because it happens around Christmas. So does Lethal Weapon. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Technically, if you think about it, all movies happen around no, Christmas. no. Lethal Weapon happens like the main most of the movie happens during like Christmas and Christmas Eve. Well, yeah, Die Hard is Christmas Eve and Christmas morning. Yeah. So then again, but I'm saying, so is Harry Potter. Yeah. So is Nightmare. Uh, no, Nightmare on Elm right. Street. Um, a Nightmare Before Christmas. Right. Um, but all I'm saying is Lethal Weapon. If if we're going to allow Die Hard to be a Christmas movie, Lethal Weapon should also be a Christmas movie. Well, I guess in, if you really think about it, I mean. What any you, movie could be a Christmas movie. What do you want to hear, man? Any movie can be a Christmas movie. Think I, really think you think it. I don't think about eating a bullet at night? That's Christmas, man. Okay, so you're probably going to hate Sadly, that me. is Christmassy. Yeah, that... You're probably going to hate me. I don't think I've ever seen Lethal Weapon. Uh, no, it's it, yeah, you have. It's uh, Mel Gibson and... Just because I know who's in it doesn't mean I haven't seen it. It's Mel Gibson, D- uh, Danny Glover. Yeah, Danny Glover. Yeah, Danny. Glover, I actually haven't Donnie. seen Die Hard. Have you seen Lethal Weapon? No, dude. Okay, so the, okay, what you're they wrong both for not just seeing turned Lethal, on me. You're you're both wrong <laughs> for not seeing Lethal Weapon. But I cannot believe you have not seen Die Hard. I have not seen Die Hard. Have you seen like the sequels? What? Why would you watch the sequels if you haven't watched the first one? I saw the fourth one before I saw the first Why? one. Why? Because I was born after they came out. Doesn't matter. Oh my god. To be fair, I think I saw Back to the Future three before I saw Back to the Future. I also I saw three, two, and then one. Okay, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. No, okay. If, okay I did come across this quote today, and I thought this was hilarious because we were just talking about it. Um, it's a quote that says, "Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie because it occur because it occurs on Christmas. It's a Christmas movie because it's about a social obligation with a family member that you didn't want to participate in, but spirals more and more into unending nightmares." That's what Lethal Weapon is. He doesn't want to be alive. And the the nightmare is that he's alive and he has to do police work. Well, I don't know. His family member is his dead wife. Ooh. Yeah, that's why he wants to kill himself. Great film. You know, and also, too, and this is total sidebar from Lethal Weapon because it's not a Christmas movie. Yes, it is. Um, if you really think about it, Harry Potter is a diehard knockoff. <laughs> I mean, you got Alan Rickman. And he chases a young kid around a dark building around Christmas Eve. Didn't Alan Rickman die? Yes, he yes. Did. Rest in peace. Very sorry yes. to hear that. He was a yes. he was a very talented actor. He really he was. was. He really was. Yeah. Seems like all the good ones are gone, except Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Have yes. you guys noticed a lot of people have died this this year, this yes. particular year? Yeah, it's really sad. Mm-hmm. Um, rest in peace, the Green Ranger. Dude, yeah, when I heard about that. And Batman. When I And Batman. Yes. Which Batman? Kevin the original. Conroy. Yeah, Kevin Conroy. He was Oh the yeah, yeah, the Batman. voice actor one. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He died. He and... was the best Batman. He was. I will die on this. Yeah, because he was Batman animated series and he did Arkham and he did yeah. Yeah, he did a lot of the well, I mean, most of the voice acting. Um he did. He, um, he did Injustice and yeah, all that. Yep. Yeah, we lost Batman and the Green Ranger within a couple weeks of each other. The, so the world is world, no longer safe. Yeah, the world is no longer safe. Yeah. We are all in terrible danger. Yeah, I don't know. I I remember. So I didn't grow up watching uh, Mighty Morphin first mm-hmm. because there's different iterations of Power Rangers. Yes. So the first one I saw was um, Dino Thunder. Never saw it. Okay, and Dino Thunder was he was the played the black ranger in that as an older guy but so there was only a green a yellow and a and a uh blue ranger no no it was a a a blue a yellow and a red ranger just three and that was the whole team and then he was their like professor in college or something about dinosaurs he became like a dinosaur professor um, but in that the, actually makes sense because the original Power Rangers were all the 
they're were dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Yeah. 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 Well, so like in the storyline of this, he was the same guy. He was Tommy. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then when he was older and he was the Black Ranger with Dino Thunder. So there's a scene where like one of the villains is like, aren't you a little old for this, Tommy? And he said, yeah, but I still got the Ranger spirit. And they transformed. It was nice. awesome. Yeah. But yes. Did he ever marry Kimmy or no? No, she, she's ugly. Or uh, not Kimmy. Who's no. the other one? Cat. Yep. Cat. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can I can never find a woman with the name Kimberly attractive just because I'm an aunt Kimberly, so it's I'm screwed. Yeah. Mm. Just like I can never think of a Noah that's attractive. Cause well, yeah, because you're also straight. Yeah. True, very true. It's gonna Got be a hard, point there, but it's gonna be hard for you to find a very pretty <laughs> chick named Noah. The, there could be women named Noah. Nope, not be. allowed. That should be illegal. There could be. <laughs> anyway, guys. So in all seriousness, okay. Uh, we, this is the way our shows always go. If you're just tuning in, um, um, we always start off on topic and then just devolve into whateverness. Um, usually ends up in Star Wars, uh, you know, which guys, I really don't want to bring up Star Wars this show, but everything is Star Wars. Well, there are Star Wars serials though. There are Star Wars serials and that is what we are more going to be talking about. Uh, we're going to be talking about serials, but. In all seriousness, it is the holiday season, and we are all preparing to be with our families, uh, celebrating the Christmas spirit, Christmas season, Kwanzaa, whatever, whatever you guys celebrate. Um, You know, we're not going to, uh, we're going to diversify there. Um, I will always say Merry Christmas. I hate the whole Happy Holidays thing, Um, but not to get political. Um, And, you know, when you guys think about it, the life that we have, it's pretty wonderful. Oh. I mean, when you really think about oh, it. Oh, really? Yes, yes. And so, you know, it's like we being Americans, we have just about everything that we want mm-hmm. at our fingertips. Um, you know, and so it makes for a pretty wonderful life. Um, you know what else is wonderful? It's a wonderful life. I really love that movie. Never seen it. Oh, we got to change uh, that. I, I'm joking. I, I was about to I say. I watch that one practically every year. Hard, I would be so it. It's a wonderful sad. life. It's a wonderful die hard. It's a wonderful die hard. That would be awesome. <laughs> George is back and he's pissed. And he's not messing around this time. Well, no, the way to watch A Wonderful Life is you watch his life collapse and you just turn it off. Yes. <laughs> then you go to bed angry. I mean, <laughs> I mean, when you really think about it, I guess that would work. Yeah, um, it'd be more realistic, you know. You know, something true to life. I'm really glad they haven't tried to re uh, redo that one. Shh. To be shh. honest with you, yes, we're not don't, giving ideas. To don't this. say that. Now they're gonna do it. You uh, put it. You put it into the Geist, and now it's gonna pop up. Today is really December fifth, two thousand twenty-two, for copyright purposes. Now we can claim they stole our idea. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um. So yeah. It's a wonderful life. Did I say 2002 or 2022? You said 2002. It, it's we t- went back in time. <laughs> just to copyright that? Yes. Man. We went back in time just to copyright that. If you remake It's a Wonderful Life, you stole our idea. We are suing idea. you so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm trying to think, like, who would be the actors for that if they redid it? Samuel Jackson, Mel Gibson. Uh, why? 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 Um, <laughs> they would be married and... Uh, Whoopi Goldberg would be their child. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, oh. And the angel would... The angel's got to be Samuel L. Jackson. No, no, that's... No. no. The angel's angel's got to be, like, more something more out of left field, like... Oh, my gosh, what if it's Betty White? I know she's dead, but what if that was her last role? Like, you know when rappers die, how they release albums after? What if that's, like, her after the dead movie? Yeah, but the whole reason why these... Why the rappers and everybody release... It's because they don't uh, have ownership of their own music. Well, because they have all of these different songs that just never quite made it to yeah, other albums. Yeah, they actually recorded that. Yeah, I know. And so as a like greatest hits or final prop or whatever, they throw them all onto one okay. I mean, technically, album. we could CGI Betty White into That's anything. True. You know where movies didn't they, they do did that, that in? For, uh, Star Wars. Yeah, I was going to say, didn't they do that for <laughs> Carrie, Fisher. Carrie Fisher? And yeah. for the guy who played Grand Moff Tarkin. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. True. I wish I could true. remember his name. I hate when I don't remember dead actors that I love. Like, yeah. that always upsets me. Yeah, they deserve uh, Peter to be. Cushing's. That was his name? I think. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know that you, one. You're the researcher. Get 
I can't. My phone's on airplane mode. <gasps> yeah. Yes, we turn our uh, phones on airplane mode. Um, if you listened into our last show, we did have a moment of uh, a couple of technical moments. difficulties. Um, Basically, to... cell phone interference. Something got too close to the recording equipment. We apologize. Yep, we do apologize for that. Uh, by the time we figured it out, it was a little too late, and so we do apologize for that. We are working on uh, all of our technical issues. Um, but back to it, guys. Okay, It's a Wonderful Life is really good. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, But even more wonderful than It's a Wonderful Life is Life Serial. Mm. And that's, yeah. Yeah. I did that. I, I really I, I knew it was you coming. Went there full I knew, I I knew it was there. coming, but I, it still hurt. It's the whole word association thing from, you know, you got you to gotta make it happen. Sure. And, you know, it's like, but cereal, it really is. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, you know, it's kind of like corn. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, I think that audio should be illegal. So, it is so annoying. It's not funny. It really is. It's not helpful. It makes me want to commit crimes. Like, it it's gave terrible. The, it gave the little kid 15 seconds of fame. I don't care. Um, I don't care about that kid's happiness. I care what, about my sanity. What did I'm, I miss here? No. What, what am a, I not aware of? It's a TikTok thing. Um, oh. the, kid, the kid's like, it's cone. It's got the juice. You know about that? I know you've heard the audio. You've probably heard the audio so and annoying. just not really. So then annoying. again, Dave has not been on TikTok all that long. No, but so still. He might have come around right around the time. I would like every time. Okay, out. I'm not going to lie. I'm a terrible person. Follow my TikTok. I play drums. Every single time. He does. Every single time I see a video like that with an audio I hate, like mm-hmm. that audio that I find annoying, I, repl- I report it. I report it for Jeez. like I report it. I'm like for bullying or for like harassment or something. You are the reason all of these people get their uh, Mr. Kill- Kilt's banned. Killjoy over here. No, no, no. Right. I'm not Mr. Killjoy. I'm killing an evil, vile, annoying thing that they know is annoying. Like, okay, there are people who hop on trends because they know it's annoying. Yes. Like people who like tricks. There are people who hop on trends just because they. Yeah. S- speaking of which, what's with the video of the spinning fish? And I forget what song is playing. Spinning fish? What are you talking about? I don't know if I've seen that oh, one. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You'll you'll come across it eventually. I probably video will. Video of a spinning fish. Yes. It's a bunch. It's people watching a video of a spinning fish on a TV or a monitor. And it's always the same song. I can't remember what song it yeah, was. I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to look at that. I, I haven't see. seen that one yet. I know that there are a lot of, there are a lot of trends that are out there that people do just literally because they're trends mm-hmm. and it's the whole some um, things should not trend a lot of things should not however trend. please help us trend we're on yes. tiktok Make we are the trend. one thing we are the one thing that should trend out in we'll this, never in this we'll never play the it's corn music video for you ever we promise no, no. yes we promise we won't do that we will never have a tiktok video of the three of us watching a spinning fish on a tv or whatever so, so no. in, in regards unless that gets us like a hundred thousand views it then, could you know, the last drumming video I put up was is gaining traction faster than anything else I've put up. I did up. see that one. It was really yeah. good. It was a really good video. Actually, I screwed it up. We'll talk about this later. Yeah. Yes. All right, so Serial. Um, so I'm talking th- about Mr. Killjoy over here. Yeah. Just immediately jump- so, so if I poison Serial, do I become a Serial killer? Well, the question is, is Serial soup? No. <laughs> what if I cook it? Well, how do you define? Why would you cook cereal? How do you so define can a soup? soup? Actually, you know what? If you think about it, you do cook cereal. What do you Rice talk? Krispie treats. You don't. You cook it. No, not with milk. But it, it has marshmallows. Marshmallows has milk in it. Mm, marshmallow. No. John no, Jonathan don't. says marshmallows is milk. <laughs> marshmallows have dairy in it. Uh, are you sure about that? Yeah, uh, I think it's just sugar and gelatin. Yeah, it's gelatin and sugar. I believe it has a little bit of a dairy product in it. Well, too bad we can't look it up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. When you do, uh, when you do Rice Krispie treats, mm-hmm. you cook it with butter. No, I don't. You butter is Actually, a dairy yes. product. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, but butter is a dairy product. No, butter comes to... from trees, guys. Come on. Oh, okay. This is ridiculous. I am not going to be on a podcast where there is such pseudoscience. Like, I cannot be a part of this non-believing butter podcast. I'm. Okay, so of this. what you're saying is you can't believe it's not butter. Wow. Oh, you just, they're even worse. <laughs> they're even worse. They're the worst. People who are like, I can't believe it's not butter. It's not good for you. It's still bad for you. I've never had. Yes, just use butter. Yes. Just use butter. Butter substitutes are actually less healthy than actual butter. Well, okay. Here's my problem. People are like, don't use butter. And then they use seed oils. 
Mm. It's like really seed oil. Like if you use avocado oil for cooking, it's much more healthy. But seed yes. oils are terrible for you. I they like cause so many heart issues. Coconut oil is really the one that I use. Coconut oil is also good. But um, like fla- uh, rape seed oil and like vegetable uh, oils. Ex- excuse me? What kind of seed oil? Rape seed oil or vegetable oils are not good for you. Wait, what? Don't make a regular cooking item into something dirty. You. S- <clears throat> it's called rape seed oil. How is that spelled? I don't. I'm dyslexic. Why are you asking dyslexic guy how something is spelled? <laughs> it's probably spelled like rape, wow. Dave. <laughs> is, is that what you want me to say? <laughs> okay, it's rapeseed oil. Jeez. All right, I'm trying to talk about cooking. Sorry. You sick guys are in here talking about other disgusting, vile acts. So it's R. Kelly juice. No, it's not R. Kelly juice. <laughs> the oil was of age. The point. Is, <laughs> but the point is. So like when you cook with like um vet, like certain oils are good but a lot of these seed oils are very bad for you. So like butter in many cases depending on what health issues the person may have, butter can be a healthier alternative than using a large amount of seed oils. So so can bacon drippings. Yeah, no. Uh yeah, like fat, like rendered fat is not bad for cooking in. Like no. duck tallow, awesome. It's yes. awesome for you. If you can afford that. I mean, no, you do you boil ducks. <laughs> and it becomes duck tallow. Got to kind of afford the duck. Yeah, they're free. Go get. <laughs> like, you, you just let me just go to a pond. And go just... grab one when no one's looking. Get a bag, throw a duck in it, render the duck fat, and then use it for cooking. Wow. Like okay, everyone's like it, nobody can tell me something is too expensive because theft is an option. Like. <laughs> We here at Carry Out Conversations do not condone this. No, yes. I'm not saying – no, no, no. I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying you have the potentia to do it. You have the potential to make that act happen. Well, yeah, anybody has the potential. And we need to pochi- achieve our potential, people. <laughs> and if I could steal, I would just uh, I would just steal um, cereal, actually. Yeah, because oh, – Finally, we bring it back to the yeah. – I tried to twice. You guys wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> we should never let you do things. Yeah. Cereal, though, you know, and you, you're thinking about it, you almost have to steal it nowadays because it's so expensive. It's like eight, mm. isn't it like eight bucks for a box of cereal? It well, better it not be. What kind of cereal you're eating? Yeah, what cereal are you eating? I don't know. My mom buys my cereal. <laughs> oh. So you don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Mr. Not. I don't have to pay for my own food over here. No, I don't. So it's lovely. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very grateful. Yeah, well. I do. I have to buy my own cereal, okay. and well, it really So how much sucks. does it cost? For- it usually costs about 4 to $5 a box, depending okay. on what you're getting. Uh, there's there's a um, – I have an economic complaint with the cereal industry. Oh, that's um, got to be good. It's not just that you can get the big bags for cheaper if you don't buy name brand, even though it's like the same factories making mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah, like the same food processing places that make it or similar ones. But – um, the problem I have is with Fruity Pebbles. Mm. They make thinner boxes mm-hmm. that hold less stuff, mm-hmm. and they tend to be equal to or more expensive than other cereals. Yes. So you get a thinner box, you get less product, and it's more expensive. But I can go buy a massive bag for $6 that has three times the cereal, and it's also made by General Mills or Kellogg's. But it's the name. It's the it's the brand that's on it. It's the Flintstones brand. That's just like Flintstone, uh, you know, vitamins are more expensive than you know the generic ones or any other vitamins that are out there. Yeah, but I'm not that worried. Like, what are kids on the playground going to make fun of my kid because he eats like color sparkles instead yes. of like? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, then here's what I'll do. This sounds maybe a little trashy, but I don't care. I'm gonna get a bag of the big stuff and I'm gonna put it in the Fruity Pebbles box when my kid isn't looking. That's not a problem. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to save a crap ton of money doing that. That's not yeah. a problem. Actually, no. That. My kids will eat eggs and steak and be Olympians. I changed my mind. <laughs> so, um, cereals. Uh, you know, I want to bring this up to you guys because, yeah, we do want to get into this. Um, I want to talk about our favorite type of cereal. That's a, that's harder than the, like, what's your favorite song question. It is... But, you know, let's uh, – what would be your go-to? Like, what would be the ones you would always just go That's to? just a hard question. Like, I just don't know. 
Oh, I like I have an idea. Like I have like a top ten. Like that's the pro- like it's the same problem you have when you think about songs. It's like mm-hmm. top ten songs or like top ten from a certain band even. Um, but I'm just gonna give the first. Um, I'm gonna say, Honey Nut Cheerios. That'd be your number one. Yeah. Okay. Super underrated. I I would say Honey Nut Checks, but I haven't eaten cereal in ten or eleven months. Yeah, Dave's been on a. No cereal diet. Yeah. Um, well, it's just a pile of carbo- carbohydrates. That's so true. I, I miss it. I miss, you know, the crunchy cereal against the uh, the milk. and. What about bran? <laughs> <laughs> That's a serious question. I don't know why you guys are laughing. What about bran? Never had it. You never had bran? No. I, ne- I didn't have it either. You never had bran? I mean, I've had like raisin bran. Yeah, that's bran. There's bran in well, it. Well, that's it's, then. Yeah, I've had that. I yeah. like. Ra- I used to like raisin bran crunch. Raisin bran crunch. Regular raisin bran gets soggy way too quickly. No, you gotta let your. You don't like. Okay, you pour your cereal and you eat it. You don't like pour it, leave the room, like have a conversation, then come no, back to dude, it. No, dude, I would. No, but pour, you want to enjoy it. I would don't. pour a bowl and start eating it immediately, and by the time I finish that bowl, there's just a bunch of soggy raisin bran at the bottom of the bowl. It's soggy, nasty. Soggy raisin bran is delicious. Soggy raisin bran is not delicious. This no. is from the man who said eat the slop a few episodes ago. Yes. I don't remember what that was in reference to, but yeah, why not? Graham cracker cereal. I oh remember. yeah, no, yes, 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 the best worst for you cereal ever. Because when it melts, it like it's so dense. It's like you just eat it and you, you hate yourself after. Like if you ever need to gain three thousand cal, like get an extra three thousand calories a day, graham cracker, graham, cr- <laughs> <laughs> graham cracker, graham, crunch. graham cracker crunch <laughs> is the way to do that. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it make more sense to get eggs? Like if you needed a bunch of calories, wouldn't you need protein? No, I mean if you're just trying to gain weight. Like, in general, I wish I could eat eggs like Gaston. You can, no, I can't because no one eats ge- eggs like Gaston. How many eggs does he eat in that scene? When well, he was a lad, he ate four dozen eggs every morning to help him get large. But now, now that he's, he's grown, grown, he eats five, five dozen, dozen eggs, eggs, and he's roughly the size of a barge. Do you not remember that? No, I don't remember every little. Stu- also, Gaston's the good guy. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm sorry. No, literally, literally, everyone in the town is mean to Bell except him. He's a, like kind of the quarterback because the... he's trying to smash. That's the only reason. <laughs> he oh cares. no! Oh no! This guy did the thing that every guy has wanted for the rest of. Okay, what, 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 what motivates men? Power and sex. Okay, that like let's be real. Especially powerful sex. Yeah, and well, Gaston would have that, would he not? No. Have you seen his arms? Just because his arms doesn't is big doesn't mean anything. It means he's powerful. He's got power. It means he'll last like five seconds. No, dude. Well, he's busy. He's so busy doing all this other man stuff. Maybe he doesn't have time. He's taking so many steroids. No, that there's he, practically nothing there, dude. He's okay. There's no steroids at that time. How do you know? They were the eggs were as far as you're, as close as you're gonna get steroids. You and he know. ate five dozen of those. Yeah, because mm-hmm. they're eggs. It's just eggs. Why are we talking about? Whether or not Gaston, Gaston would have liked Honey Nut Cheerios. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's a fact. Okay. I honestly think my favorite is um, Brand. probably Raisin Bran. Yeah! Yes! Either I'm... Raisin Bran or fro- uh, the Frosted Mini Wheats. Okay. Frosted Mini Wheats are amazing. I do. No, they're not. I did like those. They are amazing. I liked the blueberry variant for however long that talk, was yep. out. Talk the about blueberry a ones terrible texture when they're soggy. Frosted mini wheats were the worst when they're but soggy. But they didn't go soggy as quickly as raisin. Yeah, brand. but if they exactly. ever got there, it was terrible. Well, if they ever got there, then yeah, you've wasted time because th- those things take like an hour to so- to get soggy. No, but they were too like it's too much. They're too big. Like cereals shouldn't be that big. They're mini wheats. No, they're too big. Like, okay, have you, you actually of... seen the frosted wheats? Those things are like the size of a saltine cracker. Yeah, I know, but the mini wheats are the size of half a saltine cracker. Too big. No, actually, no, they're not. They're, they're, they are way too big. I'm sorry. They are too big. No. Um, the same with, like, I really like that. You guys remember that honeycomb cereal? I think it was just called honeycomb. Yeah, honeycomb. Yeah, honeycomb crunch or something like that? No, no just, just honeycomb. honeycomb. Just honeycomb? Okay. Yeah, like, those were huge. Like, those were way too big. I don't think I ever had those growing up. Those were way like, too big. I knew honey- about their existence, but. Honeycomb was, it was, it was one of those things that like, you had to eat it really quick. 
Mm. Oh, because, no, those yeah, got the soggy. Moment, yep, yeah, the yep. moment they touched milk, they it instantly destroyed. Just, oh. destroyed. I, I always assumed it was corn-based, like... Uh, like a cheese puff or something. But they're yeah, but it's it's the it's or, the or it's the corn, fact that it's like so fluffy and light. Corn puffs. I that's oh, I remember thing. corn puffs. Corn puffs are good. I don't remember. I can't corn, remember last time corn I've had those. Do you guys remember corn pops? Pops. Pops. pops, yeah. pops well, slap. I'm, I'm sure there's a generic called corn puffs there or something been. like that. There might have been, yeah. But corn pops was like yes. the the general thing. Yeah. I when I, I have was, to go to the store and see if I can find some of those. I haven't had those in decades. When I was growing up, we never actually got to do like a lot of the um the name brand stuff. We always did the generic ones and like what you were talking about we did the the big bags of cereal sometimes even if you're well to do it's just economically stupid not to buy the big bags but see here's the thing is a lot of people don't do that based on the economical stand that they have it's not the fact of whether or not they save money it's whether or not they look like they are Okay. You know, well to do. When I'm an adult, if I have my friend over and they question how much money I make because of the cereal I have in my pantry, I'll kill them. <laughs> okay, well, you got to think about it. When you were kids, okay, when we were kids, if your if your friends had a box of Lucky Charms in their uh, in their cabinet, mm-hmm. they were like the popular kids. I hate mm-hmm. Lucky Charms. I always got like the Lucky Stars, which were the big bags of. You know the mm-hmm. the knockoff brand, yeah. And you know, to me, I mean, yeah, to me, cereal, cereal. Like, right. uh, I, I I can eat a generic cereal just as well as I can eat you know mm-hmm. the name brands. Like, well, my problem is I can't find a generic of the cereals I particularly like, like Honey Nut Checks or Oreo O's or Oreo O's are so overrated. Oh, I, I used to love those, those things. They're not bad, but they're overrated. There's underrated yeah, cereals. Actually, I'll agree to that. They're, I think they're good, but yes, the hype might be a little much. No, I. So okay, I think one of the main problems we get into with cereal, and this is a problem I have with Lucky Charms, mm-hmm. is it's not good cereal. Isn't just how sugary it is, right? Yes, it is. No, 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 it's not. Not at all. So like, you look at um, Honey Bunches of Oats. You look at Cheerios, Honey Honey Nut Cheerios, Raisin Bran, um, Golden Grams. Life cereal. These are semi-sweet. They're not overpowering in sweetness, and that's why they're good because you can actually appreciate what is in the product more than just the uh, the amount of sugar in it. But here's where it differs from being an adult to being a child. Mm-hmm. You look at the the adult side of it. Looks at okay, it's not as sweet. It still has a good taste. It has enough fiber in it, so when I go poop, it actually comes out a solid. Right. <laughs> um, you know, when and, you're a kid, and now we're talking about poop. Yes, Oops, good. When when you're a kid, it's all about the flavor. It's about the marshmallows that are in it, or you know, the what used to be the prizes in the at the bottom of the yeah. box. I remember all of those. You know, it 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 was never. It's never about the nutritional side of it. It's just about what they. What tastes good? No, but I'm saying the sugary stuff tastes worse. Like even when I was as a kid. A, well, no, even as a kid. Like for example, honey, honey, or no, uh, Lucky Charms, one of the worst cereals ever. Tricks, terrible cereal. Why? Because good cereal isn't just about sugar content. It's about actual flavor. Reese's Puffs, Cocoa Puffs, terrible cereals. I think it also. Well, Reese's Puffs is better than Cocoa Puffs. Yes, I, uh, I also I think, think you're going to get tarred and feathered over your cereal and opinions. They don't like, know where I live. Bring it. We can fix that. Yeah, don't. We <laughs> know where you live. It'll be on the website at the end of this episode. I so. want. I, I mean, I, I would be honored to have people have pitchforks outside of my house. That'd be wonderful. So you can be a mean, scary ogre. <laughs> no, this I'm, is I'm the not worthy. Where you run away. I'm not worthy of Shrek. <laughs> Shrek is amazing. Oh, I thought you were about to say something else, and I was going to no, have to. No, I love Shrek. Uh, I love the movies, uh, the Shrek movies. Um, did he so... have a cereal? <laughs> Actually, I think Ooh, he did for a little bit. That's a good bit. question. I, I think he did. I don't know. I, I think it just about every like popular thing has a cereal at some yeah, point. There was Hannah Montana um, cereal at one point. Yep, there was Hannah Montana. It was Montana. just her face. There was Frozen cereal like when frozen frozen 2 came out they there was frozen it. 2 ce- i remember unloading pallets of frozen 2 cereal when i had my last job yeah it's the same way with spaghettios spaghetti yes yeah, spaghettios is the same thing they, they like big on star wars spongebob um, star wars spaghettios sp- i want Mario. star wars spaghettios where are those well they're not there anymore dude spaghettios uh-huh. are like 
okay, SpaghettiOs are one of those few items that has remained cheap. Yes. Like, as the economy shifts, like, ramen and Arizona iced teas and SpaghettiOs. Those are the three constants. Well, ramen's kind of gone up a little bit because it was... I can still find it for 87 cents. Per pack. Yeah. But you used to be able to get, like, the big packs for, like... A dollar fifty or two dollars at uh, at Kroger. Now it's like up to four twenty five for a pack of like the twelve. And the reason why is because it is a, um, it's a shelf the shelf life on it. Yeah, there practically is no shelf life in ramen. So basically, you could buy it, put it away, and you know when they had the whole food shortage, pandemic, all this other kind of bull crap that. Uh, came out over the past couple of years, everybody ran out and just stockpiled ramen, ramen yeah. because of that. And so now they're they're feeding off of the panic. Um, same thing with a lot of the cereals. You know, a lot of the cereals, you know, were, did the same thing. Cheerios uh, were big because the shelf life on that lasts a lot longer than, you know, than most. There is um, nothing worse than stale Cheerios, though. Like, I remember my parents used to keep cereals like after they were stale and i was like i'm not i'm not eating this i can't eat this i'm gonna be honest with you i think cheerios are still fresh (laughs) even honey nut cheerios okay we'll see yeah yeah kind of in a way um just because the the flavor for honey nut cheerios is okay Mm -hmm. but it's the the actual o's just they taste so stale like they always taste stale to me um which leads me to the next question guys um we talked about our favorite cereals. What are the worst cereals? Now, I know we've kind of touched base on them just a little bit on certain things that we don't like. What are some of the worst cereals that you've ever tried? Anything stale. Well, yeah. Any Cookie good... crisp. Oh, really? Oh, you know what? It has I... a bad aftertaste. It does. It does. So what... I actually have to agree with that one. I... I was like, oh, Cookie Crisp. I haven't had this in like 15 years, and this was a while ago. Yeah. So I bought a box, and I was like, oh, this is a box of disappointment. I think they changed. I think they changed all their recipe and stuff on it because it used to be so good. I do remember that one. Um, I think c- Cookie Crisp is better as a bag snack than like without eating a it as cereal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's like, oh, mini cookies. It's like, awesome. That sounds great. And then you yeah. eat it as sort of like, why did that? Why do I put milk in this? Yeah. That's kind of like, okay, my worst are smacks. If you've ever had them. I can't remember what those tasted like. You don't like I, honey smacks? I think I've had them. I can't I, remember. No. That's like up there with Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles, dude. Oh, I see. I didn't really like Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles. Oh, either. my God. Sorry. Well, we talked. I'm about, sorry, that was a little loud. But you kind of made mention of it. You kind of made mention of it. Where fruity and cocoa pebbles, um, they're always more expensive. I get they're that, more but... expensive, but the moment they touch milk, they're soggy. No, they're mush. They're yeah, good. it's mush. They're good cocoa pebbles are like like even off brand cocoa pebbles. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Yeah, I mean, again, the flavor is okay. But you guys got to be okay with like mush. Them. You guys got to be okay with mush. You eat your slop and you like it. It's how it is. No, all right. I don't no. think a cereal should be primarily judged by how. Like how it is when it's soggy. I I, I would I say that's a very fair way to judge no, yeah. cereal. Because cereal, I I I rate my cereals based on their crunch factor. Yeah, I want a little. Crunch. I want something I want... crunchy. Yeah. See, that's like uh, that's like frosted flakes or you know corn flakes. Okay, frosted flakes are the biggest bunch of nothing. Terrible cereal. Uh, corn flakes are worse. I don't have. I haven't. I've never had cornflakes. Cornflakes are just frosted flakes without the frosting in it. I mean, literally, that's all it is. Yeah, it's like bran. Yeah. I wish there were unfrosted flakes. There are not corn corn not (laughs) cornflakes, but (laughs) flakes that have been frosted and then mysteriously unfrosted. But their mascot is just like a really frail Tony the Tiger, (laughs) who is like looks very sickly. It's just an orange. Some, some, it's Garfield. <laughs> whatever. It's Garfield. He's like, I hate Mondays. Yeah, it's just Garfield. <laughs> it's like, I hate frosting. Oh, man. Yeah, Frosted Flakes are bad. Smacks. Yeah, Honey Smacks. Smacks are amazing. I, it, no, it's again, it's one of those things where you put the flavor or you put the milk on it and it just, See, I knew it this. loses all sensibility. I knew this was going to get political. This, this is political? Uh, yeah, this is the most important politics ever, Dave doesn't like honey smacks i can't remember what they even tasted like i haven't had them in so long it's a sad day when you don't remember honey smacks 
Okay, what's a cereal, and maybe this is a little off topic, but what's a, well, like, away from least favorite cereals, what's an underrated cereal? Maybe not your favorite, but one you think is underrated. That's a good question, actually. That's a great question. I can't really answer it because I haven't eaten cereal in almost a year. I would say Raisin Bran. Captain Crunch. Ooh, yeah, Captain Crunch. Berry Crunch, though. Not the, no. The, yes, the the ones with the berries, not not just regular Captain the Crunch. The ones with the berries are not Captain Crunch. Yes, it is. That is bull crap. The oops all berries? No. No. Yeah. No. That is a sin. That is a <laughs> sin against the gods of cereal. Oh, it's all berries. Then it's not Captain Crunch, okay? It is Captain, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch, original Captain Crunch, before they did all the other bull crap, what was there? No berries. So then you add berries. You have to get right. rid of the Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch is identified. It is a, of the essence of Captain Crunch to have the little yellow flaky things. Actually, there were there were berries in the original Captain Crunch. I don't recall. There always have been berries in the original Captain Crunch. I don't recall. Then they removed it because they were figured, they found out through studies that kids were picking out the berries. Yeah, because they suck. No, they were picking out the berries to eat them. No, they hated the little the the little captain. They they had, they were sugary. They were good. It doesn't matter if they were sugary. They, they nobody liked them. Everyone liked them. Everyone who ate Captain Crunch loved those. Okay, no. we're gonna stand by our man. We're gonna stand by the captain. We're gonna overthrow these berry dictators, and we're it's, gonna take charge. We're gonna start our own dictatorship. Captain you know, Captain he, Crunch only. He doesn't officially have a military rank. He is That's, not. Te- he is not legitimately a captain. You're right. He's a freaking admiral. That's, okay. He's that's, a. Gr- that's he's why a gr- he's captain. No, no. C A P apostrophe yes. N. No, he's a grand moth in the army of the republic. <laughs> no, in the the uh, galactic empire. I thought we were staying away from Star Wars. Well, we're not time. now because you're messing with the captain of Crunch. <laughs> we can never stay away from Star Wars. That is that true. is the issue. Is like he, we can never stay away from. We Star can't Wars. stay away from Star Wars. Star Wars will always be part of our show. Star if Wars will you... always be part of my life. Mm. Yeah, I well, like Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. <sighs> I hate <laughs> everything. What is that from? That was the okay. You know that how was the... an old video. It was on Vine, wasn't it? You're like, I'm about to have a stroke. I'm so mad. <laughs> Okay, that's like the old it's corn. It's like just yes. some kid says some dumb thing. It's it was never funny. It was always annoying. And the internet, no, it and the, was funny. It was not because he was making fun of all the basic white girls that went to Chipotle. But he's worse than them because they they don't tell me because I don't watch their stupid videos, so I could ignore it. But now that that's in my brain forever, I can't like. They take little things that are annoying and they expand it out so everyone has to suffer. It's like kind of like, like Honey Nut Cheerios. No, I mean, we have a little thing that's annoying. It's you. Okay, <laughs> 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 very funny. No, but it's like if you had a disease and it wasn't viral unless you wanted it to be, but you decided to make it viral anyway. That's like if you Isn't only that what China did the other year. That is oh. true. That is true. <laughs> yeah, but they did it to themselves. Got a point there. They were like, we need to control population. Let's kill Ooh. our own people. Yeah, we don't want to yeah. get into all of that. No, um, what they're doing over there now. Well, no, but like the the problem is is we, everyone for the last ten years has been like, oh, we're gonna have population problems. The population's gonna grow too much, and now it's like, hey, birth rates are almost below replacement, and in most cultures globally, like many of them, they are there are they're below replacement. That's because it's no longer economically viable to have a child. That's not the right. only factor because they can't afford the it's, cereal. It's a major factor. Yeah, that's true. No, that's cereal not is too expensive. <laughs> no, that's not the only factor because like we because in the past, even though the economy isn't great right now, for hundreds of years before us, people were poorer, they had less, and they had more children anyway. So I don't think that's the the only. Well, like, yeah, because they had nothing better to do. Yeah, exactly. You guys, they, no, we have nothing better to do. I, I refuse to believe that watching, po- listening to podcasts and watching YouTube and watching TikTok, TikTok and Marvel movies is more productive than having and raising children. I Unless you're believe, listening or watching our us. videos, yeah, yeah exactly. then, it's not more productive, but it's a distraction from you know the other thing. Yeah, right. but we need more in life than distractions. But you got to think about it then too. Have and cereal. Let that be a distraction. Completely off topic, but you got to think about it then too. Is Back, you know, the even up to like the early 1900s, 1920s, everybody had a farm. Everybody had things that they had to do. It was, it was viable to have more kids to help them on the farm. Mm-hmm. 
that way, you know, one, you didn't have to waste money to, you know, pay somebody to help you. You didn't have to trust your, uh, your complete life, you know, I mean, life, yeah, with, you know, a complete stranger to come out there and work for you. Mm -hmm. You had all of your children that knew how to do things. It taught them great work ethics. Um, The greatest generation of practically in the history of uh, of all humankind came out of that era because of the fact that they all worked on a farm. Yeah, they hardly went to school because they were usually working, but the work ethic based there, you know, allowed them to accelerate this economy, uh, during the time and allowed them to accelerate the, um, the rise of America, uh, Mm -hmm. the American culture. So let this be a lesson. Child labor equals better economy. You know, and our child labor laws are terrible. They're so stupid. Yes. Our child labor laws are dumb. Um, but, it actually, you know, who's got to clean sense, all though, the chimneys? It actually kind of did, when you really think about it, because it taught the children back how then to clean chimneys. <laughs> but at least they knew how to do something. You can't get a you can't get a child nowadays to even clean their room. That's why you gotta hit them. No, I get. <laughs> no, no, but I, I am saying this, like, and I think it's more than just economic. I think it's more than urbanization. One. The way we've done – okay, so work has been outsourced outside of the home. Mm-hmm. So it's no longer on the farm. It's outside of the home. Well, more and more people are working from home nowadays. Not everybody, and you can never have everyone work from home because, well, somebody's got to collect the food, right? <laughs> but, um, but like – so more and more people are working from home, and yet still not having more children. Why is that? Like there's, there's multiple factors to it, but I think, um, I think one of the main reasons is because culturally – um, we have changed the discussion around children. Children are primarily seen as a burden, not a blessing. Well, right. Um, and and I guess the downside to kids is they take your freaking cereal. But that's true. Yeah, but that's still. true. But if you didn't have the children to help out in the farms, then you wouldn't be able to you buy know, cereal. Well, you wouldn't be able to gather the the wheat or the corn or the rice or whatever it is to, to make help the cereal. make the cereal. Yeah. Which leads me to my next question, guys. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, you like how I'm doing this? I do. You're very um, good at segues. I, I try. It, that's the whole ADD brain. Like, that's really that's all it is. It's, it's just, just ADD. segues. Yeah, it's just ADD. It's just segues one to the next. So, here's the next question, and I'm going to turn this over to Dave because oh he did bring this up. I did. <laughs> yes, you did. What's this? What would life be like without cereal? It would be over because everybody would kill themselves. I don't think. Ever, I think half of the population. Would. I don't think everybody. I think that's too high in us a number. I mean, I would, but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would I be mean, the. I've, the I've been living the serial less life for the last, you know, eleven months. So, <laughs> and that, that's what I want to ask. I just, I just heard that. You know that song? It's like I'm a survivor. <laughs> I just heard that, but like for Dave, and he's like standing really... on a mountain, like I survived eleven months without cereal, <laughs> and all these veterans are like clapping for him. <laughs> They're like you, strong, strong man. Or he gets like the AA badge. He gets, <laughs> <laughs> he gets a C, he gets a CA badge, cereals anonymous he, badge. He goes to the bar, puts his, puts the coin, like the the two years without <laughs> cereal coin on the bar, and he's like, I need a drink. And the lady's like, You sure you want to get rid of your two year coin? He's like, No, that's for cereal. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's not for alcohol. That's for cereal. Oh, that's oh. so funny. Because you know, and we love you, Dave. We weren't laughing at yes, you. We're- no, we actually kind of are, but no, <laughs> no, you know, because we did talk about this. You know, it is a wonderful life, mm-hmm. cereal, cereal, and you know, we know how the whole story. Uh, obviously, everybody has seen it's a wonderful life. If you haven't, then you have lived under a rock. You're, you know, and you don't know what you're missing. You haven't seen it's a wonderful life. You said. He said he was joking. I, oh, I was you just, did? Okay. I used to watch it literally every Christmas Eve. I yeah. have seen It's a Wonderful okay. Life. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I was like, you're over here making fun of him because he hasn't seen a movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So you know, we all know how that goes where, you know, the guy has it all planned out. He has his whole life ahead of him. Mm-hmm. Um, 
something happens to him. He's all sad and depressed and he wants to kill himself. And so then they take it back to, okay, what would it be like if he didn't exist? If he, if he wasn't there and it shows the whole side effect, the whole butterfly effect, basically of what would happen if he wasn't there, he wouldn't be there to save his brother from dying or from, um, falling into the ice and his brother drowned. Um, He wouldn't be there with his wife, which his wife marries somebody else and has a horrible life and, you know, is basically poor, you know, for eternity. Um, His children weren't born. All these different side effects that happen. So here's like, and this is a total speculation, but the reason why I wanted to say I wanted to turn over to Dave because Dave is the only one out of all of us who really knows what it's like right now Mm -hmm. to live without cereal. So, Dave, what is it like? And I mean, in seriousness, you know, I, I want to know side effects. I want to know health benefits. I want to know, you know, are there any benefits to not eating cereal? I mean, it's basically a giant bowl of carbs every morning, and technically that's bad. And I'm actually going to make a video of this because you can almost see the tears in his eyes as he's talking about this. <laughs> I miss cereal. <laughs> I do I do kind of find it funny that Jonathan's like, I see the tears, I'm gonna record this. Yes. <laughs> like you that that mentality is the problem with our whole culture. No, because it's it it, 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 it shows, makes good content. It shows the emotions. Yes. It shows that there are emotions. Yeah. So I You're profiteering off his pain. <laughs> exactly. So disclaimer, I am not a dietitian and I don't really know what I'm doing, but if you want to lose weight fast, cut the carbs down significantly. Mm-hmm. And that includes the milk. The milk is full of carbs. That's true. The cereal is full of carbs. The sugar in the cereal is nothing but carbs. That's true. There's actually more sugar in milk than there is in the cereal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, based off of it. So, you know, but okay. So what has it been like? You know, I know you you make the joke that you miss cereal. Yes. Is that really a joke, though? Um, Actually, yeah, I don't miss – I miss it a little. I don't miss it that much. Hmm. I have found since I stopped eating a bunch of sugary things that I don't crave them as much, but – and th- this is a big but. Hmm. Um, It's a slippery slope. If I go, say, to the dollar store – and pick up some, you know, snacks, some things that I know I shouldn't eat, but I'm like, okay, maybe I trust myself to, you know, not overdo it. Yeah, I shouldn't trust myself to not overdo it. You can kind of fall, but it's mm-hmm. almost like an addiction. Yeah. Yeah, well, so th- that's the thing people often don't talk about when it comes to weight loss. It's like, well, why do I want all this food? Sometimes when you're you think you're hungry, your body is just addicted. Even people who are, like, like pretty thin, Mm-hmm. can still be addicted to sugar oh, yeah. and food yes. and carbohydrates. Oh yeah. So it's like, oh well why why do why oh I'm just always hungry. It's like no, 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 no. You're not always hungry. Your body is yelling at you to eat something because you have an addiction. Mm-hmm. And it's like we, we often yeah. don't view health in that way. We just kind of view it black as white as like, oh well I eat when I'm hungry. It's like no. There's a difference between hunger and your body tricking itself into hunger. Right. Yeah. I, I again I'm not an expert on this by any means, but like addiction science is really fascinating because your brain basically wires itself so you keep doing the thing that may not be healthy for you, but is just enjoyable to the brain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it so releases br- that serotonin or whatever. The brain is like, I will kill you to get what I want. <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, basically, basically, yeah. yeah. Jinx, you both owe me a <laughs> coke. I can't drink Coke anymore. Thanks. Here, here's a no, I don't want to die. I said, no, it's Jinx, you owe me a Coke, not Jinx, you owe me a Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Diet Dr. Pepper Hashtag not a sponsor. Hashtag. Yeah, we are not sponsored sponsor by us. any of the stuff that we've talked about. Giant Dr. Pepper, please sponsor us. <laughs> or, did you say Giant Dr. I Pepper? Did. I meant... <laughs> are you praying to a Giant Dr. Pepper in the sky? <laughs> no. Please. No. Actually, I believe that's what happens at the Masonic Lodge. <laughs> They pray. They, they pray to Dr. Pepper? <laughs> no, the giant Dr. Pepper in the sky. I know that they say they worship the architect of the universe, but I call Cap. I call Bull. I think they just pray to Dr. Pepper's. Well, I mean, without Dr. Pepper, there would be no world. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Looks like we found our next member of the lodge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I actually thought about this when, I, when I, I, we came up with this idea of what it would be like without certain things and without cereals and... I think that I could go a little while without it. 
But at the same time, like what you were saying earlier, yeah. of it, I still it's... crave snacks. I still crave pizza. I still crave oh, pizza. Oh, yes, I still crave carbs and sugar. Mm-hmm. It's it's very difficult to maintain this. Like the most self control thing you can do is just not buy it. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. even if you want it, don't buy it. Yeah, and I think that is the hard part because once it's in it your is. house, you will eat the You'll whole eat bag yeah. or the whole box or whatever you bought. And I think that is the hard part because I do find myself, you know, at midnight pouring a bowl of cereal because it's quick and it's easy mm-hmm. and it's something to enjoy at the moment. Um, of course, right before I go to bed, my stomach's all turning and, and yeah. I'm regretting it, you know. Um, nothing good happens after midnight, people. Just bear that in mind. Um, nothing good no, no, nothing good ever happens after midnight. Um, no. I don't know if that's true. I've had a lot of good times after midnight with some friends. And Zorpus. Okay, your mom reading you a bedtime story at midnight doesn't help. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's a beautiful moment, Jonathan. Okay, it's a beautiful moment. You don't have to tell the world about it, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to Zorpus in yeah, Got to go to Zorpus, while. man. We are not sponsored by Zorbas, but I wish we were. I don't know that I've been to Zorbas. Ever? I don't. It's like the only place around here that's open 24-7 that actually has good service and good food. Wait, okay, so is it the one that's right down the road? It's the it's one on tiny. Fort Street. Yeah, it's, it's over by TV Cafe TV or Diner, whatever. yeah. Uh, okay, I have I been there once. Yeah, it's a little past that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. For those who are it's in the area, and if you listen to our show and you are in our area, you know exactly what we're talking about. Um, for those that don't, Zorba's is a family diner. It's like a um, kind of like a Coney Island. Yeah, it's uh, an all LA. night. It's an all night Coney Island, mm. and it's tiny, super tiny. It's like it's super small. I do think I've actually been there once, but yeah, they, I d- wasn't impressed. I was okay. Look, like it's, it's not. It's just typical diner fare. There's nothing to be impressed about. It's mm-hmm. like, do you want a club sandwich at three a.m. or not? No, That's where you but go. Uh, but okay, but the the service is good. And it's only because we don't have Waffle Houses around here. Okay, Zorba's is much better than a Waffle House. Mm. Now Waffle a House sandwich. sucks. It's the experience. No, and it's not the experience you want. We have Denny's. The Denny's means nothing. Uh, Denny's is Waffle House. It's the same thing. No. Yes. No. Like, Denny's and IHOP are the same. No. No. Mm. IHOP wants to be Denny's. Denny's. <laughs> No, sorry. Denny's wants to be IHOP, but Denny's is Waffle House. Okay, so can you imagine really quick, and you know, total segue here, but can you imagine really quick, because we were talking about these, if these different type of restaurants had cereals on their their menu? Zorba's does. Do they? Mm -hmm. Do they really? Yep, they have like the little boxes of like the personal size ones, and they pour it in a bowl for you. I just, I know because... Well, I know where I'm going after we finish recording. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. Who goes to to restaurants and orders cereal? That's like when you go to, that's like when you go to hotels and you do the Continental Buffet or the Continental Breakfast. Those are terrible. And you have, you know, the pancakes and you have the waffles and you have eggs and bacon and sausage and fruits. And then you have these four generic cereals and everybody just skips all of the good stuff and goes straight for the generic cereals. The generic cereals. Sometimes it's what's your what you're in the mood for. What I can't stand is you go to those continental breakfast places and they're just the eggs. It's like the powder eggs. Mm. I'm just like yeah. Well, they got to do that for finan- quantity for financial reasons. Yeah, for quantity. That's all that is. But it's just the same thing as like the generic it's cereals. It's all about quantity. There should it's be an all you can eat cereal buffet. There is. It's called every hotel continental breakfast. That's true. No, I, like, I kind of would like to make a buffet restaurant that's just like random crap that would be cool at a buffet setting, but not the that way is Golden, Golden Corral. Not the way Golden Corral does it. They are terrible. Okay, they are good when they started off. They were good when they started off, and granted, okay, we had Golden Corrals down south. They're not the same. They I are know. not. The they same are not the at same all. at all. No, no, at all. Down south, okay, we are. F- we are fat people down south. We know how to eat. And so when it comes to buffets, we know how to do buffets. I was very disappointed to come up here and figure out that there is not a single stinking Chinese food buffet around this area. There was. There, w- there, there were two. There was. There were two. 
there was Hibachi over in Woodhaven and there was Dragon over in Southgate. Yep. Yeah. They See, both the dra- closed because they didn't make enough. No, Dragon closed because of all of these extra stuff people were finding in the food. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know about any of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody opened up a sushi and, like, it started to wiggle. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so. Oh. I, oh, I, I never want to go I, to Chinese buffet ever again. I, yeah. I, I used to love eating there, so I could have gone without knowing that. Oh, well. I, now that it's closed. And now it's like a hook and reel, which, it, oh my gosh, have you seen that? 45 bucks per person to go in there, and I've seen the food that goes that, that comes from that place, and it looks nasty. Oh, wait, no, in Gibraltar, you mean? No, in uh, Southgate. Southgate. Oh. Right there where Dragon Buffet used to be, There's a. it's called Hook and Reel now. It's a, it's a fish know, place. Yeah, it's a fish place. Yeah. And I have been wanting to go there since they opened, because like, it looks so good. Okay, the best seafood place in Downriver mm-hmm. is in Gibraltar. It's on the water, actually. It's kind of nice. I, I, I don't remember the name of it, but go there. Oh, that's helpful. Thank you. Yeah, right. right. No, it's, just that, go. You know, that place. It's in Gibraltar, Gibraltar on the water. On the just water. go drive around Gibraltar until you find it. <laughs> any any seafood place that's on the water typically is good. Yeah. I no, mean, I mean, they don't get the water from Gibraltar. The, well, no, the, I know. The fish. I know, but it's something about the area, and it may just be the it may just be the the, the ambience mm-hmm. of you know, being out on the water. That's like you it go tricks to, you into thinking the food's good. Well, it's like you go to Joe's Crab Shack. Mm-hmm. Any Joe's Crab Shack is right off the beach, mm-hmm. if you've ever seen one. Or it's right off a pier, like it's on the water. If you've ever been to one not on the water, it tastes complete garbage. And it's something it's something about the ambiance of having that, you know, uh the location. Um I'm really in the mood for seafood now. I am too. Yeah. I am too. I kind so there was a place called the Crazy Crab in South Carolina, where Not me and my family. Crab. No, yeah. it's the Crazy Crab in South Carolina. Me and my family used to go there. It was really good. I just didn't like seafood when we used to go there. Was mm-hmm. the problem? So I would just get like a burger, and now I'm just like I really love seafood now. See, you're the type of people that I'm talking about, though. You're the weird ones that go to a restaurant and order stuff that's not traditional. To that place. Okay, when I go to a seafood place, I like, okay, I know it's like a kitty thing to like with seafood. I love clam strips. Clam strips? Clam strips? Clam strips are the bomb. Don't mm. think I've had them. You've um, never had clam strips? They just like slice up clam, fry it, it's good. Okay. Yeah. Actually, never? Whenever I go to an Asian buffet, I deliberately go and try some of the American food just to see how terrible it is, and it's almost always terrible. Yeah, I'm I'm always too scared. Like you see the pizza that they that they make. Oh, I don't and my know. my daughter used to do that. My daughter used to go and she'd always get like the chicken strips, or you know she'd get like a piece of the pizza and she'd eat it. Mm-hmm. You know, because I mean kids, yeah, they they eat anything. Um, especially Mikey. Oh, you're quoting some Mikey. Well, yeah. Yes. What kicks. What, what's? Right, no, it's not kicks. What is it's that? Life cereal. Well, yeah, it was life cereal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I give thought it to you Mikey. were trying to He'll bring it anything. back. I was trying to bring it back, give and it. I completely forgot where give I was it. going. <laughs> give it to Mikey. He'll eat anything. What yeah. is that from? Life cereal. No, no. What movie is it from? It's not a movie. It was a commercial. It was like an old, no, like eighties, nineties commercial. I, th- I think that's uh, from a movie. I swear they pr- that they is. probably make reference to it. Oh. I know they make reference to it quite a bit. I'm aggravated. Um, that's going to bother me all tonight <laughs> that I don't remember what that's from movie wise. Well, we'll know about it later on because you'll you'll figure it out for us. So yeah, you know, but that's the thing is kids eat just about anything, which is why there's so many different varieties. There's so many different places that we, you know, uh, when you go to a um, Chinese restaurant. Yeah. There's so many like these American food, quote unquote, uh, renditions of what they do because they know that kids aren't always going to eat crab rangoon. Uh, kids are not always going to eat crab teriyaki. Rangoon. I love crab rangoon. Uh, it's amazing. I can. Oh. I miss peanut. Ch- I can't remember the last time I had peanut chicken. I mm. love peanut chicken. Peanut chicken. Peanut chicken's good. What the heck is that? Caution may contain peanuts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? No, I I think it's pretty obvious. If you okay, here's my thing: if you have a peanut allergy and you know, and, and something has the name peanut associated with it, and you eat it anyway, you deserve to die. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> that's 
I know that's harsh, but there's okay. Mo- the modern world has set up a lot of things to where people who should die don't. <laughs> well, we talked about this last episode. It's because we put warning labels on everything. Yeah, there's warning labels on everything. If you ignore them and you eat the thing that should that kills you anyway, you deserve it. <laughs> It well, doesn't mean you're fan. Yes. It doesn't mean I'm not sorry that, you know, you die or blah blah blah, whatever. I, I'll cry at your funeral, but I will laugh after because you died by eating peanuts when you have a peanut allergy. Now here's a question here, okay, and pulling back here to cereal, Reese's Puffs is peanut butter flavored. Can you, if you have a peanut allergy, can you eat peanut butter flavored cereal? It depends on if it has peanuts in it. I it, I suppose it would depend on how they flavor it. Yeah. Because, you know? like, if it's all artificial, then probably not. I don't know. It's like... I mean, same thing as Honey Nut Cheerios. Can you eat Honey Nut Cheerios? It doesn't contain nuts, but it's Honey Nuts. It has the flavor of nuts. Yeah. So can you eat Honey Nut Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios if you have a peanut allergy? Yeah, not that I know of. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know, like, if I were just the, if I were a parent, I would just avoid those things. Well, yeah. Like, I just would avoid them and not worry about it and not give it to my kid. That way I don't have to, it's like, I, I shouldn't have to be researching what's in the thing I give my kid. Right. I well, mean, I mean, I should. Yeah, but, yes, you should. Yeah, yeah, but you I really should. But what I mean is, like, I, I'm not going to care enough to be like, well, is there actually nuts and Honey Nut Cheerios? It's like, you can't have that. Wait, so you don't care enough about your kid? No, because they, they won't be eating Honey Nut Cheerios. They'll be eating Life Cereal. They'll be eating... Uh, okay, so why do you get to eat Honey Nut Cheerios, Because I'm but better than them. Because I'm better than them. What if Dang Life it. Cereal is processed in a facility that processes nuts or oh, handles no. nuts? Oh, no. Looks like they're dead. <laughs> wow. The whole fact that we are allergic to everything nowadays... Yeah. It really says something about This our... is because we're letting the people who have allergies survive. And then we're letting them breed and pass down their terrible allergy genes to other people. Well, if we take their cereal away, maybe they, they will uh, all just fade away. Yes. Good. So kind of a side note on this thing, too, is, you know, we, we know that cereal is a big part of our lives. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've already established that, right? I miss cereal. Yes. And cereal misses you, Dave. <laughs> Come to Cereal Mountain, Charlie. Candy Mountain, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> it's corn. No, okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Shun the non-believer. <clears throat> Shun. Okay, I'm watching that as when we leave because I love that. Yeah. Um. So here's the, the question that – here's the question that I have for you guys – and it leads into, you know, back to what we we're talking about because it is the Christmas season. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are some different things that cereal is used for or used to be used for, if you can think about it, that brings like childhood memories from different Christmases or different mm-hmm. holiday seasons? Like for for instance, okay. We used to, all the time, um, we used to take Cheerios and we would make the strands out of them. Mm-hmm. And no, we wouldn't put them like on our Christmas tree. You know, it's like, if you've ever seen that, like people used to do that with like cereals, they used to do that with uh, popcorn, stuff like that. They'd make like mm-hmm. the garland and put it around their Christmas trees. We would make that. And then, you know, granted by the time they got put up, they were already eaten because we were, we would just sit there and snack on it as we're going. Um no, I want popcorn. <laughs> but what are some different? What are some different things that you know? Maybe cereals bring out a childhood tradition. Uh, you know, even if it's a Christmas season or you know different holidays and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Or do they bring out any? My mom always made Rice Krispies. I mean, I just remember her doing that all the time. And uh, you know, I was a little snot as a kid, M- less than I am now. I think. Um, but I was, I was about to say, did that change much? Yeah. Um, no, but so I would always complain. I was like, the store bought ones are better. <laughs> Ooh, see, that was a little, that is, yeah, that is wrong. Yeah. But yeah. In the homemade ones, you can add things like chocolate chips, M&Ms, true. more marshmallows. True. That's that true. But they, I mean, they were good. I just, I complained when I was younger more than I do now. And it seems like it seems like like Rice Krispie treats and stuff like that kind of become more prominent during the 
the winter seasons. Yeah. Uh, I mean, am I wrong on that? Because it's like, like you well, said, it's, it's something that you can make. It's because people are inside, you know, they can't go outside anymore, so they need something to do. And that's mm-hmm. it's a distraction. It's a thing to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I've we stuff your face with carbs and sugar. <laughs> well, we, we're about to hibernate, Dave. We got to be ready, <laughs> right? Getting that that you know winter bod the going, hub, the winter weight, you know. Yeah, we had a uh, we had a girl that used to work for us that um, around Christmas time she'd always give us these. Um, crap, what were they? I think they were fruity pebble treats, Ooh. and basically they were rice krispie treats, but made with fruity pebbles, and they were so super sweet. I mean, they were like teeth aching sweet oh wow yeah um and i remember she used to give those to us all the time and oh man they were good they just hurt to eat yeah they hurt imagine taking something like that and covering it in a thin layer of white chocolate or milk chocolate 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 good i love i like chocolate chocolate good i like chocolate (laughs) dave 2022 there's our new coffee mug chocolate Chocolate good good. Good. (laughs) i like chocolate (laughs) Oh, that, I'm trying to actually think about that. That could be good. Yeah. That would but, be your very, you very was, sweet. You yeah, said it was too sweet already, sweet. so you'd have to find a way to make okay, it Okay, so you use sweet. dark chocolate because yeah. dark chocolate's a little bit bitter. It'll help balance it out. No, but there's even more sugar in dark chocolate. You got it. No, you got to lessen the sweetness and then put dark chocolate on it. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Why are you both oh, looking at me? Like, well, because well, you brought idea. up the chocolate yeah, thing. Yeah, you brought up the no, chocolate We're looking thing, at you so. because you were the one who started the topic. Right. So we were waiting for your rebuttal on that. Yeah. Uh, uh, any chocolate sounds good. Like a chocolate <laughs> any coating? Chocolate is good. <laughs> any chocolate's good. Did you not hear me? I like chocolate. <laughs> chocolate good. I like chocolate. Actually, wouldn't you use semi-sweet chocolate? for that? Chocolate? What you this? would use semi-sweet, I would think. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we so, making Dave Mancino Man for chocolate? Mancino Man. Was that what? That's what it was. Mancino Man. No, Goonies. No. Yeah. Not. Oh, you were going <laughs> chocolate. That's such an insult. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything about Dave. You Sloth brought that love up. chunk. <laughs> <laughs> we got our little mascot here with us. I don't. I assumed that they could hear the dog through the. the but they probably can't. Oh, well, they could after you did that. So, that, so now I just be making dog noises. That sounds really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> We're used to that from you, Noah. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> no, we have our mascot down here with us. Her name's Hannah, and uh, she is a beautiful puppy. And sometimes she gets a little crazy, but it's always fun having her on down here with us too. So, yeah. um, so yeah, I I guess I'm the only one who actually had childhood memories when it came to cereal. Because yeah, there are certain cereals that I eat that I'm just like, oh, I remember this when I was a kid. You know, it's like Rice Krispies. Okay, I never actually, I never liked actual Rice Krispies, Mm -hmm. except for, and being down south, we were, you know, very big on sugar. Um, You put sugar, you just put sugar in it? Yes, we would put sugar in it. I did that too. I did that too. And I'm talking about, it was like a lot of sugar, to the point where after you, after you eat the cereal. There's some sugar in the bottom? Yes. (laughs) Yes. Been there. Yeah. Yep. We used to do that all the time. Oh, yeah. And, you know, like that stuff I remember. Like I, my dad, my dad killed me if he found out that I really, uh, you know, started talking about any of this stuff. But my dad would do that like with Rice Krispie Treats he'd, or with Rice Krispies. He'd do that with uh, Corn Flakes, um, Raisin Bran. You know, Raisin Bran already had that sugar content that was in it. Yeah. You just See, I always found that that was never satisfying, like, just it really wasn't. Po- pouring granulated sugar out of the bag, it didn't taste right. I, it does. It sweetened it a it, bit, but like the. It only works, in my opinion, with Rice Krispies. Yeah, okay. yeah. Rice Krispies, for some reason, just always did it. So, and here's here's another thing that if you guys have not tried this, I recommend trying it at least once. Oh gosh. Okay, it is kind of a southern thing, and it works almost like Rice Krispies because it's rice. Does it involve bacon grease? He's no. going to tell us to put rice with milk and sugar. Yes. Are you kidding me? I was joking, John. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious, though. Try that. At some point, just try it. Isn't that kind of what rice pudding is? I don't know. I've never had rice pudding. <laughs> Who would make pudding out of rice? What is with you guys and rice? Rice is good. No, rice is a filler for protein and nothing else. 
Rice, rice is, is in everything. I know. Yeah, it is a carb. Right. But it's in everything. Rice is not a protein. Yeah, no, it's a filler if, for protein. If, Ri- okay. if I eat rice with a meal, my sugar skyrockets. I, I eat rice very sparingly. White rice is actually a lot we better. We should get for, sushi, by the way. White rice is a lot better for you than yes, brown rice. Yes, it is. It is. Pe- like for a long time, everyone's like, brown rice is better for you. Get brown rice. And it's like, you look at every Asian culture, they don't use the brown rice. No. There's a reason for that. They convinced all us stupid white people that brown rice is good for us, and now we're eating their scraps and paying yes. extra for it. Pretty much. It's genius. Pretty much. But no, because that is a childhood memory that I had, and that was something that I do actually um, kind of uh, collate Christmas with, is we would have white rice, and yeah, you just cook it. You just cook rice like normal, um, and then you put a little, just a little bit of milk in it not you don't fill it up like you would just like regular cereal you put just a little bit of milk put some uh put you know a small dab of butter and a little bit of sugar on it mix it up amazing that's starting to sound kind of like grits it it almost is it's sugar it almost is um people have been known to put like cinnamon and stuff in their grits yeah and you put you put cheese in grits right yeah you can well Yeah. yeah the thing with grits is grits is kind of like it's more fine than it well, would be like for you know rather than rice or whatever. All but I'm thinking the, about the, now is that hash brown casserole at a uh, Cracker Barrel. Yeah. Well, mm. the thing I learned about grits is that it. I'm not saying it's the same thing as gravy and mashed potatoes, but it's a starch. So mm. anything you would do in a gravy or mashed potatoes will pretty much work with grits. With grits, yeah, that's true. That's potatoes true. are better than grits, though. Yes. See, I know you're I from the South, that. so you have a duty to like grits. I see. No, I don't. But oh, I oh, don't. really? No, I, I don't like grits at all. Um, in fact, I can't remember the last time I've had grits. I like grits when I make them with bacon and cheese, but I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you could onion, just, probably. You could just do that with potato. No, see, I'd rather have. I'd rather have oatmeal. I love oatmeal, oatmeal. with yeah, bacon oatmeal. and cheese. No. <laughs> <laughs> that could be good. No, it can't. No, guys, we need to make sure that what we're saying in this podcast doesn't make people try to make this. I said it could be good. No, it can't. You have to. You know it can't. You know what? All those things taste like separately. Yeah, exactly. Put them together. It would taste bad. <laughs> okay. Fried chicken. Okay. Fried chicken. What is about good. it? <laughs> Amazing by itself, right? Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Mashed potatoes. Sure. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Sure. Yeah. Corn. Corn's okay, yeah. Okay. They all taste good together, right? Yeah. Put them all in one yeah, bowl. Yeah, it's a famous bowl. Yes. yes. Yeah. Put them all in one bowl, and it's amazing. Yeah, I love famous bowls. With a little bit of cheese because on the top. Say, okay, great. Now I'm going to take that, and you know what? You also like oatmeal? Let's put oatmeal in that. Is that good now? <laughs> no. We could try it. No, we can't. We'll, we'll swap it's out the pro- mashed potatoes and gravy for oatmeal. No. <laughs> You do not want fr- you do not want Kentucky Fried Chicken, corn, and oatmeal together. I mean, you have chicken and waffles. That, that's okay. a fair point. Oh, my gosh. I have nope. never actually tried chicken and waffles. I've been wanting to, but mm. once again, diabetes, waffles, carbs, fried chicken. Yes. Keto waffles. Fat and carbs. Keto wa- yeah, You know what? That's Keto waffles point. with yep. uh, sugar-free maple syrup. I got you, Dave. Yeah, that actually is pretty good. And just good. regular fried. Like, I can eat some yeah, fried chicken. Yeah, regular fried chicken. Yeah. Um, if, you Keto know, fried chicken. There, were, there was a time, like, I don't know if they still have them or not, but uh, there was a time where Chili's did a thing. Um, where they had like chicken and waffles, and it was really good because it was almost like a spicy, uh, there's like a spiciness in the chicken mm-hmm. that was like really, really good. But yeah, I love spicy. Yeah, sp- some stuff that's spicy is good. Spicy cereal, not so good. Um, so okay, and back to what we we're talking about here. Um, because no, 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 no. Because okay, you said spicy, and it made me think hot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's hot or warm. Warm cereal versus cold cereal. Cold. Yeah, cold. Like I've warm had oat- cereal, the soup. <laughs> I've had oatmeal. I'm not that much of a fan. I like so. oatmeal, but it's. See, maybe, maybe I like. If we put bacon and cheese in the oatmeal. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> Dave's gonna go try this. No, so like the, the best way to make oatmeal, in my opinion, is you make it like you make the oatmeal, and then you put protein powder and banana in it. Yeah, you've said that before. It's so good because the chocolate protein powder with the oats kind of hides that bad aftertaste that a lot of protein powders have. What do you, okay. 
Okay, you so, said protein powder. Okay, I was about to say, what are you cooking that has that bad of an aftertaste when you make oatmeal? Yeah, the protein powder makes it have a bad aftertaste. Well, don't put protein powder well, no, no, in no, no. you okay, won't have a problem No, with let it. me put it this way. Protein powder on its own has a pretty bad aftertaste, or tends to. Yes. All right, so you put it in the oatmeal with the banana, and it covers up some of that. What about chocolate? Well, it's a chocolate protein chocolate powder. Chocolate oatmeal would be good. It's a chocolate protein powder. Chocolate oatmeal actually is really good. Um, I made some uh, uh, here a while back where I did actually um, – I did just regular oatmeal and not like the whole, like the little packets. I'm talking like actually made oatmeal. Um, and then while it was warm, I put in um, the chocolate morsels or Ooh, like chocolate okay. chips. Okay. And then just stirred it up. And, you know, because of the the oatmeal being so warm, it melted all of that chocolate in there. And it almost, it basically made it into a bowl of no bake cookies. Ooh. But it was really good. I mean, okay. it was like really, really I mean, good. I can see that. Dump chocolate on anything, it's going to be pretty good. All right, so I'm going to cover not my chocolate. fried chicken with chocolate. Yeah, not chocolate chicken. I mean, okay, no, don't no, no. knock it no, until no, no, you no. try Let's, it. No, it, the way you do it matters. So you think about like take a piece of fried chicken. Like let's say you take like, something off. Like a chicken leg or a wing yeah, or like something? A, no, yeah, and then you take a chocolate fountain and you dip it and then, oh, um, come on. Come on, man. That sounds so good. No. I got an inner fat kid. He's hiding. Well, I have an outer fat kid. He's saying <laughs> no. <laughs> See, I would try that once. I will try just about anything once. So, I mean. I'm, Don't knock until yeah. you try it. I guess it well, would be next worth time I go a try. To but Golden still. Corral, I guess I should take some fried chicken. <laughs> the, guy go- <laughs> the guy working at Golden Corral is just going to be like, I quit. <laughs> I give up. I knew I knew working here was a mistake. I should have gone to culinary school. <laughs> Dave's up there like just slowly putting a rotisserie chicken into the, cho- into the chocolate fountain. No, okay. So this is what I want to do now. I want all of us to go to Golden Corral, and all we're going to do is grab random crap <laughs> and put it in, <laughs> and put put it in, in the, the fountain. Ch- Just be like, uh, sir, that's ham. So? 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 <laughs> put like the carrot cake in the... <laughs> well, okay, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, chocolate carrot cake would actually yeah, be Yeah, but okay, like, okay, but... they have certain things, like they have fruits and stuff around... The because fountain. those are actually what's supposed to go in there, right? Not but, grubby little kid fingers. No, but I, I get that. But what I want to do is just grab everything else, like beef tips and just everything else, and just not to eat it, just to watch their reaction. Like I want to see if I can get kicked out. A spoonful of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> just <laughs> wait. Do they have a cheese fountain? Some I don't they should think they sometimes. Do. Well, no, because then I just I they then I would just put dessert things in the cheese fountain. Yeah, that'd be a fondue. Yeah. <laughs> That would be hard. That would be harder to maintain, I would think. Yeah. Okay. Here's my thing. So with fondue, don't you actually put steak in cheese in fondue? You can put anything in fondue, including fruit. Yeah, including fruit. People do that. Yeah. I mean, I just a lot of people do like some sort of meat. We we used to have a fondue thing at my house, and we'd use it like two or three times a year. I just remember it being more of a pain every time. I the at home ones are just terrible. Yeah. I always say fun don't because fun don't. Yeah. Because it's no fun to fun that. do. Yes. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's no fun to fun do. It's yeah. no fun to do. Gosh, I really want to go to Colton Corral and just put random stuff in the chocolate <laughs> fountain. Like, I can't. <laughs> but the problem is, you got to pay, like, how much to get in there now? I'll, dude, I'll drop $200 right now. Seriously? I think it's Heck like yeah. 18 bucks a person just, or just something. Just to get kicked yeah. out, 100%. 18 bucks for what? Have, most of their food sucks. Their steaks. Their steaks are usually pretty good. Steak yeah. sucks. Yeah. No, their steaks the, are good. The way to win at Golden Corral is you go straight for the protein. You pass up the mac and cheese and the potatoes, and you go straight for, and not the chicken. The chicken is the cheapest protein they have. Go yes. for something a little higher. Yeah. And then you get it all to go. <laughs> Stick it in the fridge. Okay. <laughs> all right. It's funny that you mentioned this. Mom, I love you. We used to go to Golden Corral. Oh, no. We used to have a place called Ryan's down south. Ryan's was basically Golden Corral, but better. I've heard of that. Yes. I think we used to have one up here, but Did you? forever ago. Yeah, Ryan's remember. was always amazing. Like, I always liked Ryan's more than Golden Corral, but it was the same thing where it was a buffet. Um, they had their, you know, their steak, you know, section. Um, we would always eat regular, you know, it's like just eat like normal. Mm-hmm. At the end of it. My dad would always go up and he would get another plate and he would never get anything else other than steak. 
Like he'd always get like two steaks or whatever and be like, yeah, give me a couple of them. And he'd, he'd get them. He'd bring them in. My mom would immediately grab them, wrap them in, in uh, napkins and stick them in her purse. That's awesome. Yes. For my dad to eat on the way out the door. <laughs> wow. Yes. To this day, any time they go somewhere. They do that? They do that. Oh. They still do it. My mom just, my mom has it down to a T where she will, yeah, she'll literally just like, it is, it's even got to the point where there are sometimes my dad will order a steak right off the bat and she'll just immediately grab it and put it in her purse so that way she doesn't have to worry about it later. Because at the moment, nobody's really paying attention to you. It's when you're done that's when they start paying attention to you because they want to get you off the table. They want to get you clean up. Wait a minute. Okay, that's that's actually a pretty good scam idea. Yes, it's not. Is bring tin foil with you and wrap up the meat in tin foil. And people do it. Go get seconds and put it in a backpack. People, why would you put it in a backpack? So you can carry more than you can in a purse. Dude, like, okay, you have a kid, right? And a kid has a backpack. You should no. be, like, be like, oh, well, we're coming after school. And then you use your kid to help you steal food. Okay. That's Are the only you, way my kid's eating is if they help me steal it. I guess the way that I was picturing is you just like sitting at a table just dumping a plate full of food into a backpack. No, you got to be subtle. No, like you get – like I said, you bring tinfoil. You foil it up when no one's looking. You stick it in the bag. And you go get seconds, seconds. I mean, there are people that do that. And then you go get thirds. No, but I'm saying like, okay. It's not right, and they, you will get kicked out of the restaurant. We're, we're going to get banned from Golden Corral now. Yes. Oh, oh, they cannot stop me. I will wear a disguise. I will have a fake ID made. I will. He'll grow hair. I will grow. Hey. I can't, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. I can. I just did. It, it would look terrible. Well. So. Cereal. Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have that at Golden Corral? Not yeah. yet. I demand it. I de- yeah. And then you Actually, get- they might because I don't think I've ever had their breakfast. I know they have a breakfast buffet. Okay. That I wonder if they that actually might actually be it. good if they have a breakfast buffet. We should try that one time. Yeah, let's do it. And then let's stick pancakes in the chocolate fountain. Actually, that, that sounds, sounds good awesome. too. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good too. And our eggs. And our bacon. I mean, no, okay, it's... chocolate bacon is already a thing. Actually, yeah, I yeah. will judge. I will judge how good Golden Corral breakfast is based on whether they make their bacon crunchy or chewy. And if they make it chewy, it sucks. Oh yeah, chewy bacon is just. I want awful. it crunchy. I want it almost burnt. I agree. I want it actually a little burnt. I agree. Yeah, I like it when it just like literally melts. Yep. See, I prefer more of like a jerky texture. Mm. Like a... no. Yeah, like, see, that's a little I pre- too. I prefer. Much. M- I prefer meaty. Like. Not necessarily chewy, but like. No, I want it to like know. crackle in my mouth and yeah. then dissolve. You want to? I want it to crunch, shatter in my mouth like glass, and then dissolve. Just dissolve, yeah, yeah. That actually. Hey, is like cereal the best. companies, if you're listening, bacon crisp, make it thing, make it happen. Bacon crisp. I would so get that, guys. You can already buy bacon bits. <laughs> Put bacon bits in cereal. Or in no, milk. not in no. cereal. <laughs> I want a bacon See, that, flavored that's cereal. The thing. Stop trying to put random crap in cereal. No, okay. no, no. Okay, I, okay. So here we go. You get the bacon. All right. Uh huh. That's like the marshmallows or the berries of the Captain Crunch or the bacon pieces. And then the little crap that nobody else eats are eggs and little bitty pancakes. Aw. Oh, I would love a pancake cereal. They already have. They do have those. Oh, they do have those. Yep, they do have. Isn't that. there also like waffle crisp or waffle something or other? There is something that has to do with waffles. Yeah, it's called waffles. Yeah. <laughs> I know there was French toast crunch. Is that still a thing? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. Or yeah, there's French toast crunch, cinnamon toast crunch. Um, wow, I am so hungry after all of this, and right? we just <laughs> ate. Um, so the question that needed to be answered for today is: There life after cereal? And in Dave's opinion, it is a very sad yes. yes. <laughs> um, but whether you get to eat cereal or not, you know. Actually, you know what? There is no not you know to what? it. No. There is no you, not to whether it. Whether you eat cereal or not, you can still go to Golden Corral and put things that don't belong <laughs> in the chocolate thing, the fountain, in the fountain. So here's here's where here's what I would say for our listeners. Take that challenge. 
Do it. Go, go. <laughs> put it on go our, forth, put my it soldiers. On our Facebook. <laughs> put it on our Facebook and our Instagram or Twitter. Send us a picture, even on even on TikTok. Yeah. Of the random things you put in the Golden Corral. Well, chocolate if it's on fountain. TikTok, show us a video of you doing it. Yeah. That's very yes, true. Yes, link us a video of you putting things at the Golden Corral fountain. Yes. Oh, dude, I just thought like if this got big enough, people would put things in the fountain like that aren't from the store. Oh gosh. <laughs> like like skateboards <laughs> and like shoes well it's bad enough watching the little kids just kind of like shove their hands into it well no i i think they're ahead of us that's the reason i don't do anything in the chocolate fountain (gasps) okay no i don't want to think of like i don't want to eat the chocolate fountain after that i just want to put things in it to ruin it for others (laughs) because i don't really like golden corral so i'm okay with like destroying their business wow wow and Golden Corral could have been sorry, could have been our first sponsor. No, 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 they can't. I would have, I would have been in the board meeting like I refuse to allow Golden Corral to have a foothold in this business. They have taken too much from America. Oh gosh, Golden Corral, we apologize. No, we don't. <laughs> you suck. Oh man, Golden Corral needs to go to confession. Oh goodness. All right. Well. Whether or not you get to eat cereal or you don't, the main thing is during this holiday season, we wish you the best. Have a we hope you have a Merry Christmas. We hope you have a happy Kwanzaa, happy whatever you, whatever it is you uh, you celebrate. Whatever you worship, don't go to Golden Corral. <laughs> there is no God that can forgive that one. <laughs> he can, he just won't. That is the un- <laughs> yeah, that is the unforgivable. <laughs> Oh man, this show has not gone the way I was expecting it to. But it's <laughs> does it ever, man? <laughs> it really doesn't. Happy Kwanzaa! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we do want to say that you know this has been a fun year for us. Um, you know, as the laugh. year <laughs> as the year is winding down, um, you know, this will be our last episode of the year. Um, we will be taking a couple months off to kind yes. of. Um, kind of regroup, kind of like, you know, spend time with our own families and things like that. So in the meantime, give our backlog a listen, um, share it with others, you know, help us get this out there. We hopefully will be back um, around March or April. We're not, you know, too decided on that one right at the moment, Mm -hmm. but we're not going to be gone long. Mm -hmm. Um, So again, to anybody who has listened to us, to anybody who has put up with our absolute nonsense, we do appreciate it. Um, you know, whether or not we have somebody listening in or or not, we're gonna keep doing this because it's fun for us. Um, but this is fun for me, and it gives me something to do. It gives me, you know, the the chance to actually smile some. Oh. Um, <laughs> Especially, especially when Dave starts to yell at Noah, that is the highlight of any show. Yeah, I love um, it too. I love when Dave corrects me. It's, if it's you, fun. oh, and if you haven't noticed, uh, go to our TikTok page. Look at our TikTok. Look at our videos. Um, we've had two videos that were in the running uh, for the most views. The first one was Dave just completely yelling at Noah over the way that his his mic etiquette. Um, that ended up with like 742 views, 743, I think, mm-hmm. um, within like the first week and a half that we posted it. I mean, it, it skyrocketed. Everybody loves hearing Dave yell at Noah. The second yeah, one, Noah, sorry. <laughs> the second one that was in the running was us getting onto Noah for a certain bodily function. <laughs> That it's happened. not my fault. I can't control that. <laughs> it happened during a serious episode, too. It was like the worst possible time. It's like, right. don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> and it actually, I, I do have to say that that one is actually the most viewed paid, our most viewed video on our page right now. It's sitting at 745, but it's just slightly over the Dave yelling at Noah one, but yes, anytime we get on to Noah, that seems to be the charm. So I guess I'm going to have to step up my game. I got to compete with it's that. It's going to become a very right? emotionally abusive podcast very quick, <laughs> very quickly. 
<laughs> Next video is gonna be Noah in a corner and Dave just standing over him snapping the belt. Uh, no, no, it won't be. I guarantee you that will not be the next video. I mean, if someone pays us for it, you know. Yeah, nobody's paying you for that. I'll pay you not to do that. Hey. Oh, okay. okay. I'm listening. Yeah. We get our first funding. This conversation's over. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening in. Um, again, we hope you have a very merry uh, Christmas. Happy holidays. Uh, again, my name is John. I'm Dave. And I'm Noah. Great. Thanks for listening.